Hi, um, this is just an update to my kitchen progress. Um, it's not a very professional film, but I just wanted to be able to get this video out quickly, really. So I've just had run around. It's now October the 27th. I've finished a night shift, so I feel a little bit rough. Um, but Ren have come really to try and sign off my kitchen. So they've been in the kitchen while I've been on holiday for a week. Um, I've packed up my all belongings and come back. And this is my kitchen that Ren um, were coming to sign off. So I thought I would do a very, very quick walkthrough. Um, it's now been five months. So 12th of May, this whole kitchen thing started. Um, and we are now at 27th of um, October and this is um, a professional Wren kitchen installation. Now Wren are saying that this kitchen is pretty finished because they're not responsible for putting the floor in except their fitters have been telling me they're going to get a tiler in for a very long while. So I'm just going to do a very quick walkthrough. So apparently they've agreed to change the worktop. I have not been given that in writing um, or to refund the worktop because I couldn't find a, a suitable. So they took the dirty worktop that they put out in the rain for days while doing um, the work. So they have lifted this entire side up, but they brought the dirty worktop. Yeah, I'm just gonna run all the way along back into my flat and they've put this in. Um, and apparently, so this is so that I have a usable space. Um, pretty disgusted really. So I won't be using this kitchen until this is done because not at all hygienic. Um, also, as you can see, the, the paint works. This is a freshly plastered kitchen. Um, completely dirty. I'm told they had trouble getting it out. But again, not really my issue in my, my new kitchen. Um, I've got another worktop over here. So this worktop has been sealed in here and at the back hasn't been sealed in over at the side. Um, I was given the heads up by the finance company Barclays who I've um, lodged a claim with that they were gonna come in today to sign, well that Ren have actually signed this kitchen off um, and I'm waiting to see. So this is this is the professional lighting installation. So you can see that the the um, oh apologies that I'm not just cables kind of hanging really, and where they've raised up the cabinets because that the entire side was too low, and um, they haven't made good, and you know. I'm told that's not their fault, but it's certainly not my fault that Rain can't put a kitchen in properly. And um, the extractor fan used to blow out, if you remember, so this has been fixed. But you can see it's still blowing out there. It's blown open, air coming out. Put some more grill in, but not enough. But again, I'm told that that is that is to be expected. So for those of you getting ready to put your, de your deposits down on a rain kitchen after Christmas, this is what your kitchen will actually look like. Um, they've changed side panels. Um, but you, you'll, excuse me again, you can see here, marked and dirty and actually chipped, but I'm told, oh, that can just be repaired. So when you hear about your replacement guarantee, don't believe it. This cabinet here has got a big white chip in it, um, as have several, here we go, several white chip, um, a couple more. So regarding the other main issue with this kitchen, if you recall, was that they hadn't put, left enough room for the floors to go in under the appliances. So this entire side, both sides of the kitchen, have been lifted up. Um, I made a subsequent complaint regarding this side of the kitchen. I'm just going to move the plinth. And so Ren have just adjusted the entire kitchen um, by sticking a 2x2 two two underneath, or a 1x2 that looks like. 
um, and I have that both sides. I have, here we go. So I'm just showing you the true story of what you get or the real experience of a Wren kitchen installation. So Wren have come today to tell me this is a workable kitchen. Um, this worktop here is coming out, they've put it in as a temporary measure, but as I say, it's dirty, it's disgusting, it's unhygienic. Um, they've said, what do they want me to do? And I've said, well, I just need a decision on, are you gonna refund the other worktop or not? Until they refund, I can't make a decision. Um, the other thing is they've installed the doors for the dishwasher here and the washer dryer here. So again, I've raised a concern that the doors will need to be adjusted once um, the flooring goes in underneath. I would have hoped this would have all been done by now. Um, and they've said that that's not their responsibility. So I will be liable to adjust the doors once the floor um, goes in. So just gonna flick it around. So this is just a very quick video. Um, some things have been adjusted, but in all honesty, they haven't um, they haven't done a very good job here. This is a professional Wren kitchen installation using Wren certified fitters. So um, use at your peril. A couple more things I've just spotted. So again, on the the cupboard here, um, got marks um, on the top of my fridge cabinet. If you can see up there on the very corner. There's a white paint chip there. Um, and the other thing I noticed earlier on when the installation manager was here is there's, um, I've had to go ahead, if you remember from my previous video, I wanted this nice flooring throughout my entire floor. I've had to cancel that because I had to move on with, with my life, but this is pretty much how I'm still living. Um, I've got no doors on the bathroom waiting for the, the skirting and everything to go on. But there's also a nice big free gouge here out of my new floor. Um, so thank you for looking at my video and I hope you um, consider this when thinking about using Ren for your kitchen renovation.